on the right side of the steering wheel you have a volume control for the central multimedia system. You can change volume more or less. In the middle you can push mute button and there is one button for voice control. Also you can control your multimedia from the instrument cluster using the buttons on the left side of the steering. But most of the controls for the multimedia, radio and everything else is actually located in the central dash under the screen. There is a power switch right in the middle, but I do not recommend to use it. It's, if you don't want to listen to radio, just hit mute button. Besides the steering wheel, you can also adjust volume right here. There are direct buttons that you can use, that you can see radio and media. Some other models, these two buttons are located in a different place, like here. And for example, right here, right below the dashboard. But basically they serve the same purpose regardless of its location. If you press media button, it goes to your multimedia. And if you press radio button, it goes to the radio. You can change radio stations by scrolling the central controller. If your model is equipped with the numerical keypad, you can just hit the star button. And then you can easily enter radio station directly without searching. Press and hold to save your favorite radio stations in memory. As you can see, this one is saved in the button number one. Let's save this 790 in the button number 2. And let's say for example... You know what, let's just dial directly. And let's save this one in the button number three. To recall your saved radio station, just press the corresponding button. Very easy. If you move your central controller toward yourself, two task bar will appear on the top and on the bottom. But if you don't do anything, they will disappear. Let's move the mouse forward and we'll go to the top test bar. So you can see there is navigation, radio, media, telephone, vehicle control, but we'll go to the radio. Now if we move uh, central controller down, we're gonna go in the middle, which will control radio station. And if we go down one more time, then we'll go to the bottom test bar. So let's look at the bottom test bar. First, we what we see is options. Let's go into it. So you can also enter frequency from here, but I actually find it a lot easier to go directly like I showed you before. But if you want, you can do it this way. You can list current stations. You can see the entire list and just go straight to the station. You can also show station information by check mark on and off. I don't know why would you turn it off. I would just leave it on all the time. And you can also check mark radio high definition. Just leave it on. On the left side of the central controller, there is a back button. On some models, it looks a little different, but it's basically the same thing. So now we're going to go to next. It, it's a search button. So the search button, you can look 
for the radio station if you know the name of the radio station. If you try to guess it, for example, let's put KL and let's just hit OK and search for it. No station found. So this system is not smart like Google. You actually have to know exact name of the radio station to find it. So for example, KXOL, hit OK. And there is a station with the exact name. Once you find it, you can go straight to the station. So let's move to the next tab, preset. Now station preset view, right now it's off. But if you turn it on, right now you can only see radio station presets. It can be AM, it can be FM, it can be Sirius Radio, but it's only presets in one place. If you turn it off, then you can see one band, like for example AM, not just presets, but all the stations of that particular band. You can also save current station channel that's currently on the screen by picking the memory slot and assigning the memory number for that channel. But I recommend to use the shortcut I gave you before. It's a lot easier. Just find the station, hit number 8 and hold on your keypad and it's set in memory. You can also edit station preset. For example, let's say I have a station, let's say in my memory, I have station 930, number 7. On the right side there is a menu, looks like hamburger. So since it's on the right side, let's move to the right and then we have additional menus. Select move highlighted station channel and now we take a 930 station and move it to number 1. So 930 right now is our number 1 station, not number 7 anymore. So next we're gonna go to band. Here you can change FM to AM to Sirius Satellite Radio. For example, right now we'll change to FM and now we see only FM stations. The next tab on the lower test bar is information. Information changes the view of your channel and basically gives you more information about that channel. But for now, let's go back to the band tab and let's go to satellite radio. If you hit satellite radio, it actually changes the menu on the bottom. It adds category. And you can actually see the info of this channel. Uh, this particular card doesn't have satellite radio. There's no subscription. But if it was, basically it would show you all the information. Now, when we go back to FM, you see the lower test bar again changes to the previous menu. The next tab is the sound control. This model has equalizer, balance and fader control, but some other models have more control. Inside the equalizer you can adjust high lows and mids by scrolling your central controller. Mid tones you usually use for AM, like where you have a lot of voice treble you use for a lot of rock music and more bass for R&B style. Balance and fader lets you adjust the central point of the sound inside your car and you basically you need to adjust it the way you can hear all four channels, front and back. The goal is to hear all speakers equally, front and back, then you have the best sound position. I usually keep balance at zero and fader about four negative. There are some other shortcuts on the top test bar. So if you hit radio, right next to the radio there is a little arrow pointing to another additional menu. So if we hit enter second time, now we have some shortcuts. High definition radio FM and you can scroll it basically. High definition radio AM satellite radio and let's take a look at internet radio so to use internet radio first of all you have to have internet connection number one and number two you have to have mercedes-benz apps 
which you have to pay monthly fees. This card doesn't have it. The next one is info on the radio. So basically this gives you an access to the some parts of the owner's manual. So let's hit next. So basically here it gives you some information how to use some features in the car, like switching the radio, calling sound, etc. And here is another shortcut just to display radio station presets. So it's important to understand when you display presets, it also comes from your AM favorites, FM, Sirius radio, all in one place. So you don't have to change bands. All of your favorites in one place, regardless of the band. One thing is important to understand that your instrument cluster and your central command unit are independent. You can control, for example, radio in your instrument cluster and control navigation in your command unit at the same time and they're completely independent. So this way you have two different screens and you can control both at the same time. On the left side of the steering wheel you can control audio. But first we have to change the instrument cluster menu to audio. And then you can change stations by moving up and down. As you can see there is AM radio right now and we're just changing AM stations up and down. Now if you push and hold it will change from AM to FM. And now you can change FM stations up and down. If you push and hold again it will change from FM to presets. So now you're only changing preset stations. And you can go also up and down. And if you push and hold again, it will change from presets to satellite radio. You can switch from radio to media on the top taskbar or you can just press and go directly. And the question of today is, what year and model of your car, how long do you plan to keep it? Please let us know in the comment section below. To learn more, please visit our award-winning website mbcmaster.com.